U.S. markets reacting calmly Wednesday after the release of the minutes of the Federal Reserve policymakers last meeting. Let's get a read on that from Liz Miller. She's president of Summit Place Financial Advisors, joining us today from New York City. Welcome back. Good afternoon, Liz. Thank you. Well, Liz, in the statement, the Fed said, policymakers said that econ- the economy made progress toward the Fed's goal of substantial further progress in the jobs market recovery and that it could be reached this year, but that the goal had not been met yet. What's your takeaway from uh, the Fed statement? Well, it's interesting. The minutes today feel a little bit like old news. You know, we're seeing the details behind uh, the July uh, FOMC meeting. So there is a delay there, and it's been quite an interesting delay. We usually think of the summer as pretty quiet. But since that meeting and these minutes came out, we've had that tremendous Um, jobs report. So you feel like that's not really reflected there. We've also, of course, have just a lot of different mitigating forces in our economy and markets right now, um, including, you know, this recent surge of the Delta variant of COVID-19 that we don't know how it affects the economy. So the minutes are interesting. The idea that there's still progress to be made, I think, is important. But there wasn't a lot here that felt like it resonated today. And there seemed to be disagreement among the policymakers on how much longer the Fed should wait to begin tapering. Any sense as to which camp may win out? I think that we're really going to look to Jackson Hole for the meaningful update there. I think if you had asked me two weeks ago, I might have thought we got more positive Um, thoughts out of Jackson Hole, more leaning towards tapering earlier. I feel like there's enough uncertainty today uh, that there's going to be a delay in giving too much of a signal. Now, we know we've had some one-off meetings around the country. There is a um, not a full-out disagreement among Fed governors, but some tilts towards different viewpoints on when we need to start that tapering. But if we get any clarity coming out, I think it's going to push it a little further or it's going to be a more mild statement than we might have expected very recently. So it seems as though some people in the market thought, as you were pointing out, that it, the Fed may have to up its timetable and that we might hear at Jackson Hole the announcement for the plans for tapering. Do you still expect that we'll get the tapering plans at Jackson Hole with tapering to start uh, in a few months? Or what's your time? What do you see as a timeline given uh, the minutes? I definitely feel like there's pressure for them to give an updated statement and outlook. The last time they officially spoke about tapering plans and those asset purchases was really last December. So they don't have anything in their official statement talking about that. We see it in the minutes. We see it in the discussions per se. So I do think there is some pressure for them to, if not give a specific timeline, uh, give an official statement more directly to it. And I think there's a chance we'll get a preview of that coming out of Jackson Hole. There's enough forces that are making people question it that we feel like the Fed does need to give some sort of interim stance. They've generally been very good under Chairman Powell um, with their communication and with their transparency. So this is a perfect opportunity to start laying groundwork for whatever the timing might be. Groundwork, uh, time work meaning that they may announce uh, the tapering? Uh, timeline at Jackson Hole? I don't expect that, only because we are sitting here today, as I said, with increased uncertainty. Um, A couple weeks ago, I think we would have been betting on that more. But I feel like there's a good chance we're going to get some sort of statement, at least acknowledging that the discussions have started. And uh, Liz, uh, in terms of the market reaction, we saw the Dow and S&P pairing their losses, the Nasdaq inching higher, slightly extending their gains, and the Treasury yield dipping slightly. What do you make of this rather tepid or calm reaction? I think it's very positive. Until, uh, until we saw these came out, the bond market was marginally uh, moving down, rates kind of moving a little bit higher. We saw it really in the interim maturities, not the long end or the short end. We saw a lot of that reverse. The 10-year almost completely reversed its um, yield move this morning uh, once those minutes came out. So I think that's very positive. As we've said, I think that most people are interpreting these particular minutes as not adding a whole lot more to our current discussions. Thank you, Liz. (laughs) Thank you. Our thanks to Liz Miller of Summit Place Financial. I'm Fred Katayama in New York. This is Reuters.